history of Western thought is but a footnote to Plato. And so now for North Whitehead quote, who's a famous analytic philosopher, you know, uh, did philosophy of mathematics, philosophy of science, and I believe that he's right. The history of Western philosophy is a footnote to Plato. It's that every philosopher since Plato has either been arguing against or trying to provide some exegetical analysis of the ideas that Plato espoused during his time and in his works. I want to go argument by argument through the Republic because this book is an exploration of justice or how we ought to live and it dives into what reality itself is like, how we can know what reality itself is like, and how we apply what reality itself is like to our lives. So all in one shot you have metaphysics, epistemology, and ethics. And so there's no better introduction if you're new to philosophy. Um, there's no more important thinker, widely considered the father of philosophy. You know, this is the beginning. So I want to go through it point by point, and we're going to talk about what justice is, and I'm going to do my best to argue as if I am Plato himself right here, and uh, we're going to have fun with it, and we're going to let Plato convince us. We're not going to let the fact that this is over 2,000 years old stop us from taking him seriously. Because just like over 2,000 years ago, you could tell whether a number was even and odd. That's the kind of eternal truth that Plato was after. Formulaic, universal, absolute truth. Whether or not that's possible, we'll see. But um, we're going to take Plato and we're going to give him all the benefit of a doubt. We're going to make the strongest argument for what Plato believes. And then when we get done with Plato, we'll move on to the next thinker. And we'll figure out what they believed and why they believed it. And that is how, like Barton Fink, that's how you, you uh, get shown the life of the mind. So I'm excited about doing it because I, I wanted... You know, I know that this isn't going to light the world on fire, but I want people that want to understand to have every opportunity to, and I feel very passionately about philosophy, and I want to share it, uh, what little expertise I have, I want to share it with everyone. So um, I'm going to try to make it entertaining, I'm going to try to make it fun, but um, more importantly, I'm going to try to be faithful to um, the text.